Two Indianapolis teenagers, meanwhile, are accused of bringing guns to school this week, and now they are facing charges. Police say 16-year-old Christopher Smith and Karamba Dioboy posed in a social media post that you're seeing there with guns inside a bathroom at Indianapolis Metropolitan High School. Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik shows us how police track these students down. On Monday afternoon, IMPD conducted a weapons investigation here at Indianapolis Metropolitan High School. That search all began after a student warned school leaders of this social media post, a picture of two high school students with handguns inside the school bathroom. Police searched the two boys after school leaders identified them in the photo. That's when officers found two pistols. Neither weapon had bullets in the chamber, but had loaded magazines. Just one incident of a student bringing a firearm into a school or a school bus for that matter is too, too many. This isn't the first time. In fact, the Marion County prosecutor has filed 26 cases of minors bringing a gun to school or on the bus since January 2021. IMPD says parents need to keep guns safely stored. Uh, going to your, 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 your teenager's room, knowing what they're doing on the weekends, knowing where they're at. Um, get into those social media accounts. Some local organizations like the Indy Firehawks are actively trying to keep kids away from crime, teaching them life lessons, not just a sport. A lot of these boys don't have dads around or they don't have um, parent parental figures that can help guide them the way they need to be guided. Gun violence and gun safety are common discussion topics with players. I show team mom Annette Phillips this post. She says it's scary to see. To them, they're probably thinking that this is something cool to do and something fun to do, but it's not. It's not good. That's why Phillips says it's important to help kids get involved in the community, keeping them away from scenes like this and engaging them in moments like these. You want to turn it around now before you're stuck in jail and you don't have a future or bad things can happen. Phillips says she hopes the two Indianapolis Metropolitan High School teens learn a valuable lesson from Monday's incident. Both are charged with four counts of illegal firearm possession. Right now, they're being held in Marion County's Juvenile Detention Center. From the near west side, I'm Michael Van Skoik. The school's principal released a statement saying she is proud of students and staff for their efforts to keep the school community safe.